Hey babes, welcome back to the channel. So I'm here to get into this look that I'm currently rocking. I know you see it inches, okay? This is this flaming ginger red boho braided style and I'm here to show you how I did this all by myself. Big thank you to Y Wigs for sponsoring today's video. All the details and links will be in the description box. So be sure to check down below for all the details. So here I'm just showing you everything that I use to achieve this look. I have my 350 color bulk hair from Y Wigs. I have 350 braiding hair. I have braid gel, some duck clips, and this is the hair all sectioned. So here I'm starting off with freshly washed and blow dried hair and I am parting my hair. So what I have learned from other videos when it comes to this style, it's better to part your hair in advance as opposed to parting as you go. This style did take me two days to complete because it was a lot and the hair was super long, but I would honestly do it again. It is so worth it. So I decided to start in the back. I always start in the back when it comes to braiding my own hair. I just purchased that mirror from Amazon, so that'll be linked down below as well. But you can actually hang that mirror like on a door and you can mount it. So it's really helpful for seeing the sides of your head as well as the back. So as you can see here, I wanted to go for like a medium size braid. And so what I did was I started off with braiding hair. I did not go the knotless route. For some reason, with the difference in color of my natural hair and the braiding hair, I just didn't like the way the knotless looked. So I went for a knot, but nonetheless, the style was still beautiful. You can do whatever you prefer. So here I'm just adding in small pieces of the bulk hair. So the bulk hair is a loose wave texture. I'll try to pop that up on the screen here, but it is a real nice loose wave texture. And I decided to add as much as I could into each braid. So each braid has about five to six pieces of the bulk hair added into it and then at the very end of the braid I added some more of the bulk hair which also gave me some extra length that's how I achieved such a long look so in order to get the hair to seamlessly blend with the braiding hair I did use that braid gel and I put it on the ends of the bulk hair where it's blunt where that blunt cut is you want to add a little bit of braid gel or whatever product it is that you use just to get the hair to blend seamlessly while you braid it and I also use that method when I got to the very end and I was adding my human hair piece to the ends of the braid that product just helps to smooth the ends of the hair that way I got a seamless braid so i'm just going to move along to the last row that i completed the first night some parts of this are sped up and then the next clip you see will be the following night and that's what we're going to get into the close-up shots you'll get a better look as to what i am doing and the entire process
Okay, babe, so here we are, day two. As you can see, once again, I'm using this braid gel to clean up that part, to give me that nice, clean part, and to smooth out the hair. Because remember, this is just like a blowout. We didn't really press the hair out, but we don't want jagged lines. We want crispy, clean parts. So, as I said before, I learned in this process it is better to part in advance as opposed to parting as you go. So what I'll do is I'll part off this row and I will part off each braid and section it. That way, as I am braiding, I can just move along to the next braid. So I just part and section off the row in advance. Some people part the whole head. I didn't want to do that. I just It was just too much for me, but I decided to do it this way. So as you can see, I'm leaving a little bit of edge out because I didn't want to go overboard with the baby hairs, but I definitely wanted some edges out. I did not feel comfortable braiding those fine, super fine hairs in, so I left those out. So here I'm just parting as I go, and I'm using the duck clips to keep my parts separate, and then we will jump back in to add the braiding hair. parted off on this row I'm starting again with the braiding hair and I'm going to braid about an inch and a half down before I add in my first piece of human hair as you can see there I was just showing you I have a little bit of braid gel on my finger and I'm using that to smooth the blunt ends of the human hair so that I get a seamless blend into the braid I did position it where the blunt end was braided down into my braid you can position it whichever way you prefer I just felt like this worked best for me and the look that I was going for you can space out where you put the bulk hair or the human hair as close together that's your discretion like whatever you prefer but I decided to keep them close together because I wanted this this was the goal you see how full this is you see you see that Oh my God, gorgeous. And the light was hitting. At this point, it was like into the next day and the sun was coming up. The light was hitting. So here you get a different angle of my parting. And I did try to keep them like medium small because I didn't want them super jumbo. So that was somewhat consistent throughout the entire head. There might have been a, I'm not going to hold you. There's like two rows in the middle where I was just like, okay. It was, I was just getting so tired, y'all. But here we are once again. I'm going to show you, start off with the braiding hair. Go about an inch and a half down before I add in my first piece of human hair. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but I decided to go with a knot because I didn't like the way the knotless looked with the different color. I want to do this style over with black hair and then I'm definitely going to go for the knotless look because why not so i'm just going to continue this process utilize those duck clips to keep the braiding hair out of the way oh i also did cut you see this here though any little pieces that were sticking out i tried to cut it as i was going because one thing i know i didn't want to do is go back and trim those hairs after this process was done so i did that as i moved along anything that i noticed was sticking out Yep, just get rid of it because we don't want that. So I'm going to continue to braid. And then here you, you get an idea of how I add the human hair to the very end of the braid. The hair that I purchased, the braiding hair that I purchased was 30 inches. But adding the human hair to the ends of it gave me about another six inches or so. So that's why the hair is so long. But I used the braiding gel and I basically smoothed out two pieces, put those together, 
and braided those to the end. I also secured the end with nail glue. Yes, I did. Definitely, there's definitely different ways you can do it, but I chose to use nail glue. Ooh, when I tell you finish line, it was like I could see the finish line and I was so happy. I, the only thing that I was like really annoyed about was the fact that I was not gonna be able to keep this hairstyle for long because as you know, I gotta get back to work. So I got some installs on the way. Still have these braids in right now, but I just don't wanna take them out because I feel like this is so much work. But um, nothing to really complain about, right? Like, yeah, I have to take this out to do a new hairstyle. But it was just so much work. And I love, I would have loved to rock these a little bit longer. But here I'm finishing up. And as I stated, I used all four packs of the bulk hair that was sent to me. Like this is super full. This is a lot of hair. And it is gorgeous. The color of this is gorgeous. This 350. I've seen this done with people whose natural hair was dyed like a ginger color. And that looks so good because everything is just seamless. Eat down to the baby hairs match. Like, I love it. But why wigs? Big thank you for sending over this bomb hair. I absolutely loved recreating this style. All the details will be down below. Everything that I use will be linked down below. Clips, mirrors, hair, this gorgeous loose wave hair. Everything will be down in the description box. If you stay tuned for the rest of the video, I show you what this looks like in the dry state. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's wet down. The only thing I did not do was like my baby hairs on camera, but y'all don't need a tutorial on that. Like... Some people don't even get into that, so yeah. Oh, and I will link the nail glue down below too in case you need that. But thank you beauties for watching. I would really appreciate it if you liked this video and dropped a comment down below. It would help me out a lot. And if you are here for these braided styles, so am I. So drop that down in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Bye. You are now listening to Tokyo Hell.